M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the TID Radio H3 that's been hacked. It's an interesting one in the background that I'm toying with, which is an interface made by Maxicom for Yesu radios. But anyway, this video is about TID Radio hacking H3, and this is version 5, PRV5. If I turn it off, then on, you'll see it boots up completely differently. Remember, you run this at your own risk. And to get it back to the old firmware, you do have to run the EEPROM wipe, which is still, it works fine, but you are always taking a risk. So I'm going to show you a couple of new features with version 5. One you're going to really like is if you long press number 5, you get this funky scope and it's in colour. How good is that? And we're listening to just over here. Hubnet in the background, but that's on the other device. Let's back out. Let's go to zero four three four five five zero, and we need to be on FM, which is menu. Then number three, up and down menu. Down. It's in yellow when you're choosing. Select and back out. Okay. Four three four five five zero. We hold down five now. Look at that. <laughs> okay, now the other thing you can do, the radio on the left is the Retivis C1, which you can do in black and white, but I just like it in in white and black white with black writing. Now if we hold down number seven, it scans. It's picking up items in my area but if we key let's do this again go to hold down seven i'm gonna have to be quick it worked just now scat key the mic oh it's picking up other things but just now it picked up one four five two hundred no problem at all try it one more time there you are Got it right the last time, look. That's what they call start, let me have it, number seven, frequency counter. Then back out. This is version, just to make sure you, I've told you, PRV5. It says VFO dual watch, so if you go menu, start at number one. We'll look at the menus anyway. So you've got bandwidth, number one, step, Modulation, you can choose AM airband if you want, and SSB, but I'll show you that. See that? SSB, okay, USB. Select with the blue. Mic gain, TX power, brightness, CTCSS, receive and transmit, subtone, ketones, scan, linger. Scan steps. Oops, did I go? Did I miss one? RX filter scan steps. Group slots. I, I'm not really into groups, but there's your group menus. And there is software for reading and writing on your PC. LCD timeout, tone monitor, repair tone, harm. Does that say harmonic test? Oh, should we do that? See what it does. I don't really know what it does, but start. Way harmonics. Okay. Not going to stop, so we just turn it on and off. Got that fancy boot up screen. Menu. Battery style, what does that mean? Spectrum scope, we just did that, didn't we? Go start, yeah, we know that works, very nice. What's battery style? Oh, I'm guessing it's on your display, so like so. Voltage or present or icon, let's do icon. And we're gonna see a battery icon, I guess, very nice. Doing a good job there. 
Marcus, uh, menu. VFO watch, That's I think that's like a dual watch. So let's turn it on. And then when you back out, it's flicking between A and B, which is good. You put your two favorite frequencies on and it will flick back and forth. Going up and that's it for now. I mean, I like it. I think it looks great and uh, it's free. <laughs> Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Massive thanks to TRD Radio Hacking by Nick FWPRB5 Bin Marcus. 7-3, all the best.